How's it going guys? Garrett here. And uh, <clears throat> here's my video. So uh, I have probably lots of issues. This is my absolute disaster of a mess that I have been living in for a while now. And it's, you could say it's pretty bad. I don't know what kind of mental issues or whatever uh, this is that causes this kind of thing, but uh, I don't really have any more patience left, and I want to fix it. So, and this does not just include the house, the porch, everything else I own. This is about how organized I keep things, and I'm trying to do better. Uh, trying to be a healthier person in general, trying to be more in tune with my universe or whatnot. And uh, yeah, so because this is what looks like, hi Rufus. This is Rufus, and you may see a cat. His name's uh, Ramen. But uh, yeah, so uh, contrary to how I've always done it, I'm gonna start the smallest room this time. So I wish you luck. All right, so here we go. I don't know, obviously, the best way to do any of this, but uh, I'm just going to win through pure stubbornness. I'm just not going to do anything else till this fucking thing's clean. I'm just not going to do anything else till this place is clean. Perseverance or whatever kind of good values I want to pretend that like I'm a, I have, which I definitely don't, but I'm going to try to pretend and I'm just going to act like uh, I have the gumption to accomplish this. If trying didn't work, try faking it. built myself a table, so I have to place to uh, do stuff like this, oh, wrong direction, and then uh, shortly after that, it's completely full of junk, and it's filthy, so I can't put clean stuff on there, so that was a little bit of a backfire in my plan there, but you know, I thought I was helping myself. All I did was give myself another spot to store crap. So that's what I did. Time for the shower. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm actually sweating right now too. All right, also I just wanted to check in again. Uh, we have the bathroom clean, including the shower. I didn't clean the toilet in that video. As much of a disgusting person as I am. Part of my ritual before I use the toilet, I always clean it. So the toilet is the only thing in this house that is always clean. Um, <clears throat> that can't be said for literally anything else in my entire place. In my entire life. I don't have anything else that I keep organized as how clean I need my toilet to be before I sit on it. I am in my main entry room. So this is the front door. You come in. There's ramen. There's Rufus. And uh, here's my mess. Uh, part of it. Anyways, you can see this disaster abruptly stops at the bathroom. So it didn't even really take me that long. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what time I started cleaning, but I mean, 
It couldn't have been more than an hour. I don't even think it was. Honestly, it probably wasn't even like 20 minutes of doing stuff. But took her to laundry. The floor all clean. Got a load of laundry to do, but I gotta wait till the weather's a little better. It's been overcast for like five days. I'm like really scooting by on my uh, solar right now. Hence my inspiration for actually cleaning the place and doing video because I can't do nothing else. It's too cold to be outside, even though it is Hawaii. It's cold here, and nobody tells you that until you move here. Uh, uh, this is actually the biggest room, obviously. It's the living room and the kitchen, but I'm going to consider the kitchen its own room for the sake of this video. So without further ado, we're going to start cleaning the kitchen. The kitchen's... <sighs> I'm going to do the dishes side first, which includes whatever dishes I actually have dirty right now. And all the ones that I've cleaned that I need to get put in a spot. Um, Alrighty, y'all. Wish me luck. I have no idea where to start, but I'm just gonna go for it. And just be stubborn and just not stop till I'm done. Alright, y'all. So, a day late and a dollar short, as usual. But, um, I'm getting cleaning. We're making some serious progress here in the kitchen. I already, like, feel better. I can't even see my bathroom right now, but I, just knowing that, like, there's a clean bathroom in my house just makes me feel happier. And, like, I feel a lot more motivated right now to actually, like, continue cleaning. But, uh, I figure I'll just keep the gloves on just because, you know, it stops me from feeling like I'm not working. Like, when you have gloves on, you feel like you're doing something important. You definitely can't see the mess that I'm talking about, but, it, like, not the junk. The floor is just covered in shit. Just dog hair, scraps, of pieces of plastic. I don't even know what paper, pieces of cardboard, dryer sheets, change, you name it. Packaging, pieces of packaging, napkins. I got plastic and all kinds of shit just all over everywhere. I broke all my vacuums except for my shop back so far. So dishes and the actual countertop is my next mission. So actually I lied. I'm going to start by putting away the dishes that are clean already so that I don't get them wet as I'm washing dishes because I do that every freaking time. Okay, so we got the dishes now washed. I'm gonna let this stuff go. I'm gonna open the window, get a little breeze in here, let the stuff start to air out. I'm gonna start on the floor. We'll see what happens. Two down, two to go. I have a really clean kitchen that I'm super happy about right here. I mean, you have no idea what just beyond the cameras right now. Oh man. But hey, mission accomplished. That one took me quite a bit longer than the bathroom. Whew. Wish me luck. Hey, yo. So uh, I just want to kind of check in again. Give a little bit of a like, you know, mental update as this is going on because part of the reason I'm doing this is just so I understand myself better, I guess. Oh, I mean, we're recording this whole fiasco, or, you know, that's why. Uh, the whole cleaning part is just because, I, I mean, it's, I fucking, I don't really know any other way to do it other than come up with some dumbass thing like this to challenge myself. After I got done cleaning the bathroom, I got, like, a huge, like, uh, motivation, like, energy, whatever. Like, I got a huge burst of it. Like, I was super pumped. I did all of this since then, since I cleaned the bathroom. But right now, for some reason, I'm having a very hard time continuing on mentally to, like, start either the living room or the, the bedroom situation. I don't really have a reason, but I'm nervous that it's going to stop me from finishing what I'm doing and so far I've spent most of my day thinking about it and 
barely any of my day actually cleaning. And I have a lot more of my house clean than I ever have since I've lived here. Uh, since I built the place, actually, it hasn't been this clean. I I'm in a weird headspace right now that I don't really understand. I'm like super excited that I have a clean bathroom. I'm pretty stoked that I have a clean kitchen. But I don't like want to keep going for some reason. Like I, I feel like something stopped me. Ugh. And I'm not absolutely not motivated at all to clean one more thing right now and i don't know why because how it went after i cleaned the bathroom i should be more motivated so i'm trying to understand my motivations or lack thereof or what the fuck's going on but uh i have a lot more work to do to get finished but relatively no work to do compared to how much i had this morning so i like, look at this this is the other half of this room Complete with a dog on the couch who's dying because he doesn't have anywhere else to go because it's fucking hoarder nightmare over here. There's shit everywhere. I can't even sit on my couch. And, uh, you know, I, I just have general crap all over the living room. So you can see right here, we're in the kitchen area. And then right about the couch is the living room, or what I call the living room. And it's, it's just, it's a madhouse. Like, it's terrible. And I also have the bedroom, which, believe it or not, is even worse. I do not know what to do right now. I don't know what I'm doing at all in the first place. Uh, just being stubborn and not, not stopping until I was done with what I was doing. Worked really good in the bathroom. And it worked okay in the kitchen. But I, I, don't, I don't even know where I'm at when it comes to the bedroom or the living room. And like, anywhere I start is better than thinking about it. But I would rather just sit here and think about where to start than actually just fucking do it. I don't understand that. Like, why don't I just go in there and start cleaning it? Like I did the other two rooms. What is wrong? Okay, so now we got the camera switched. We are now looking at my cat looking out the window. Sorry about that. I had to spray some chickens off my foot. After all the shit that I just did today, after all the bettering my entire living situation that I did, this room, minuscule amounts of cleaning. Minuscule. Nothing anywhere over here even involves getting wet to clean. It's just literally moving stuff. And I am... Um, Terrified, I guess. I mean, I don't really feel like... <sighs> if I could record for 15 minutes without somebody calling me, man. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Right, so, I'm over here in my disaster. And I can feel myself wanting to do literally anything else. But I don't know why, because I don't want to do anything else. I want my fucking house clean. So, like, I don't understand what's going on in my gut brain right now. But I barely took any alpha brain today. I did do a 5-HTP. An alpha brain, and I did a neuro gum. This is going to be chewing to kind of keep you focused and keep you blah, 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 blah. And I don't really want to up the pills. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually put in another piece of neuro gum. This is basically a deep dive into my psyche. So I don't think that skipping really anything is going to be beneficial. So here we go. I'm just going to leave it going. I'm, a, what I'm planning on doing right now. I'm going to throw in a piece of gum. But, whatever. Uh, somebody offering me free stuff, so I should be happy. But, like, literally, 
there's nothing I want more right now than like peace and loneliness and time to myself to fucking take care of this shit, man. It's like I'm fucking. I'm too shitty of a person to like be happy that somebody wants to come hang out. On the same token, I'm cripplingly fucking lonely and I'm super fucking depressed and I don't fucking like feeling alone, but I certainly don't like the feeling of having company. Alright y'all, so we had a little bit of an interruption. I had my brother lock him over, he gave me some steaks. A uh, whole bunch of uh, fucking bomb looking cherry tomatoes. A whole bunch of them. And uh, and some cool chicken salad stuff. Uh, anyways, I <sighs> got that. And I have decided that I'm going to clean the living room next. Because it is the first thing you see when you come in the house. And it was very obvious after I had left the house, grabbed the food and walked back in the house, that seeing this when you first walk into your house is very, very unmotivating. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing still. I probably never will. But anyways, here's the deal. I have two rules for myself. The first rule is once I start, I am not stopping until it's clean. And the other rule is absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing can go from over here into the kitchen or the bathroom at all. Unless there's like a specifically well-designed spot that I come up with to place it to where it's not making the kitchen or the bathroom any dirtier than they are right now. And so, I don't know how hard this is going to be because I don't know what's over there. I have thousands of dollars of shit that I've probably yet to use. Uh, I mean, I, I do definitely need that planner is a very prime example of that. That's on a giant ass stand too. So where that's going, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know where I will consider that to be at and clean at the same time. I'm pretty sure it's not the living room. My bedroom is a whole other story. Um, but even if I took everything in this living room and I put it in my bedroom, I would feel better about having this room clean right now because of how disgusting my bedroom is. So I figured I'm not going to start in the bedroom because there's nothing in the bedroom that belongs in there. Uh, pretty much nothing in there is supposed to be in a bedroom. Uh, nothing here really is supposed to be in a living room either. So hopefully I can find some stuff out here that genuinely belongs into the bedroom and I can find a spot for it to go into the bedroom. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be placing things directly where they go in the bedroom because the whole bedroom needs to be nuked and nothing in there is where I want it at all. Uh, there's a couple things out here, like the books on the shelf. The books on the shelf are pretty much the only thing that uh, are where I want them in this living room. Not even my speakers are put where they where I want them to, to go uh, in game. So uh, it's past five o'clock. It's five forty-five now. I'm going to pop a neurogum, start chewing on that, see if that doesn't help me. Start moving around a little easier or like feel like I'm wanting to. I do have multiple sources of caffeine, but I don't like caffeine that much. And I really don't want to rely on caffeine to do this. So I'm going to try to do it with just chewing on neuro gum, which does have caffeine in it. Uh, but there's not a shit ton. Um, and see if I can't get some blood flowing, get some sweat going. I seem to be more motivated to do stuff if I'm like hot and sweaty. So I'm... Uh, here we go, man. Here we go. Hold on, the arrow guns. The 
worst part is it's peppermint. Or add L cyanide. The B612. And some caffeine. Oh wow, I guess it actually does have a shit ton of caffeine in it. It has 80 milligrams of caffeine. Okay. 40 milligrams. I didn't see the serving size too. I'm not putting two pieces of this gum in my mouth at the same time. Absolutely no way. I also don't know if you have to keep on chewing it. But I'm going to keep on chewing it. Maybe just as a reminder to keep going. I just don't stop. The very first thing I'm cleaning was I have a giant multitude of extra shopping bags because you can't use bags here anymore. You gotta bring your own and then forget them in your car and then buy more and then you end up with a giant bag of extra bags. I can already feel the caffeine hitting me and I'm already sweating. I, I'm, I'm literally already sweating. Every time I chew down, I can feel, I can taste way more caffeine coming out. Uh, and whoever says you can't taste caffeine is full of shit. You can totally taste it. Oh man. I got ramen noodle. Oh no, kitty! Oh man. Dang. Ramen knew exactly where I was going with that toe, dude. I, oh yeah, a minute, an hour and six minutes. Sorry, an hour and six minutes. We at least cleaned the floor. No, later. I I was originally gonna go a lot more hardcore, but I think with how things are happening right now, I I'm gonna call it good. Uh, sorry. Uh, hi. Uh, this is me later on editing the video. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. I've certainly learned a lot about myself going back and editing this video. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just said it so happened to be lucky enough to where I just so happened to capture the very end of me cleaning, uh, on, on my phone before it filled up and shut off right there at the end when I was talking. So, uh yeah that was actually pretty cool um i'm now just on my webcam and uh filling in the ending here uh, as i'm editing the video i posted the whole thing on youtube as well if, you, if you're curious about watching literally everything there's a lot a lot <laughs> that i didn't include in, in the video uh as i've as i've been sitting here editing it, editing it and chopping it up but mostly a lot of stuff that i just let play by fast and like i didn't bother slowing it down for me to talk i i really what i kept in as the main talking points here was just like just so i can for me to like see like how i was thinking and like what my brain was doing as i was cleaning the house and 
you know, the ups and downs and how, how that all worked out. And I'm really glad that because I was recording, I was actually able to really stick to it and finish because it's been a year and it's the first time I've actually been able to clean the place. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, and, uh, stay tuned there. There's a lot more to come.